Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and I have a simple, simple DIY for you tonight. We're gonna make some beaded garland like we've done in the past, but we're gonna use these pearls from the Dollar Tree. So I have six packages of them. I have 240 count, and these are different sizes. So 40 being the biggest, then I have 260 count, that's the middle size, into 80 count and these are the small beads i don't know if, oh 10 millimeter 12 millimeter and 14 millimeter are the sizes so i i don't know how many i'm going to need but i did that i decided i'm going to make my tassels like carrot colored so i grabbed two spools of this orange that i got at the dollar tree and then i have some of this green that i got in a three pack in the tool section um, I just have some plates to put my beads on. You'll need some type of a needle. And you're going to want a needle that has an eye. And these are too big. I'm going to have to run it and grab a different needle. But you want one that the eye is big enough to get the twine through, but not so big that it won't go through your beads. So my recommend, oh wait, I think I might have one. And you also need some scissors. Yeah, I do have a smaller needle. Um, I'm just using these little scissors and I do have a different needle. And here's the test. What I'm gonna do, take out three little plates. You can use bowls, whatever you have. But I'm keeping mine separated because I'm gonna do a pattern. I'm all about the patterns, right? So we're gonna open this up. This is the smallest of the beads. So you wanna make sure And I have two cats helping me right now. You just can't see them. So I'm taking the smallest of the bead and I'm gonna make sure this needle, yeah, that'll fit fine with the string on it, will go through your bead, the holes. And this is the smallest hole in this little pearl here. And my the biggest part of my needle goes through fine. So this is a good needle size. And then, um, yeah, scissors. And some type of a needle, your beads, some string, any color. You could use natural. You could use, if you want to do this for Christmas, you could use red and green. It just depends what you're doing. I'm doing it for spring. And so what I'm going to do is take all my beads out. I'm going to turn you around, and you're going to watch. I'll probably beat a bunch up before I bring you back. But we're going to take care of this. And then I'm going to show you how to make, with the twine, how I make a tassel for the both ends of this one. So one second. Okay, I have all my beads set out. 60, 40, no, 80, 60, 40. I fed, I'm gonna feed a little bead. We're gonna go little, medium, big, medium, little, back and forth, just to make a pattern. Now, because I don't think I'm gonna have enough of the orange twine to make a tassel, I'll show you how to make one, but I'm not gonna have enough orange. I'm gonna take, um, this twine and I'm tying it on. It's just a jewelry loop type thing. And I'm going to do like three knots, nothing major, two knots, just enough to where my end is not going to go anywhere. And then I put this on and what will happen is I can hook anything I want to the end here, any tassel, any what not that I want. And then what I can do is like loop that around and then I'm gonna put a piece of glue on it to probably hold that in place. Um, and you can try to also get it to feed up through the bead. I don't know if I can do that or not. You just have to work with it. If I can get it to feed up through a couple beads, that would be ideal. Um, let's see, lick your finger. Tighten it up and get it down here and let's see if I can. Just get it to feed up into that. It's not gonna go, so it's fine. I'll worry about the ends later. I do have nine feet of this cord going because I just didn't know. And then it's just as much of feeding them on. If you get a bead that won't go, that has a small hole, just skip it. But I'm just doing this 
the whole way until I'm out of beads or I'm out of cording. And what this is what the pattern is going to look like. And I think it's just fancy. And all I'm going to do, and then just get it to the bottom down here. So we have little, medium, big, medium, little. So then I have little, I need to go back to the medium. And the big. And you just keep going, whatever pattern you want. If you want them all one size, buy all one size. I did get six packages, but I may not use all six. If I don't, I can always use them with something else. Or I have some wooden beads. These would be really pretty intermingled with the wooden beads. Um, yeah, so I'm going to continue doing this. I'll come back once it's all strong and show you. And then we'll make a tassel. And I'll show you how I'm going to just tie them onto here. Or ribbon or a bow or some of the wooden ornaments you can literally hang anything you want off of these loops or nothing and just use these to hang them on but right now this is what we have so far and I just think it's a pretty pattern so I'll be back once I get all of our beads attached and we will make some tassels all right we have almost nine feet of beaded garland which is I used all but uh, a handful. I'm trying to show you. This is all I have left of the 40, 60, of the 60 count. And I've, I have a fair amount of the little ones and some of the big ones left, which is fine. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to tie it on to this um, piece of jewelry here. I wanna just make sure everybody's nice and taut. And then we're gonna tie it on to this silver ring. And then I'm gonna feed the rest of the uh, cording up into the beads. So the first one is always the most tricky because you really want to get a good tight there. Now I'm going to go one more time around just to make sure. I hope you're seeing what I'm doing here. I'm just tying knots. There we go. And then the last thing that I want to do for this step is feed this up into just a couple beads to bury the end is really what I'm trying to do. So we'll go up one more. And then one more, and then that's it. So I'll go up three beads, and I'm just feeding this loose end up to this, to this side. There we go. And then make sure you're cutting the right piece of table, or right piece of twine. And that's all I have left of the nine feet. I will probably try to get this end onto a needle and bury it, too. So here is our nine feet of garland you can do anything you want with this which is awesome now we're going to do we're going to make a tassel i'm going to make one for you um yeah super easy so i'm using different colors you don't have to but i am the green is what we're going to use to wrap around the tassel so and you really just want to feed it as best you can. Um, you, there's two ways to do it. You can fold it over like this and just mash the green through until it all goes through like that. This is a pretty big eye. So right now we've got our green. And I did open up the orange, and then I have some natural. So we're going to do two different colors on this one tassel. So I'm holding the two pieces together, right? 
and we're going to, I need a loop of, we'll use the orange here when I'm ready. So a little piece of orange, this is how we're going to tie the top. And then I will probably feed it onto some hoop, but anyway, however big you want it. Like, we're well, going to take a plate here. So we're going to make it this big. And you just hold it. It doesn't matter what the end. You can trim it. But you want to go around and around several, several times. However thick you want your tassel to be. Right? Ooh. I'm out of green. I'm out of my nine feet already. See, that wasn't, you definitely want more tassels, but that's fine. We're going to add some lots of this color. And you can do whatever size you want. If you're making more than one, I would just recommend having some type of a template or something. So there we go. I'm going to trim off this end. And see what you have as a circle. And then I'm just going to take the top of it with a string for now because you want to tie this up. And that's going to be the top of the tassel. And you can tie this for right now, I'm doing it like this, but you can um, loop it onto a hook or not. But this is just telling me that's the top right here oops now I have this green right I don't want too big of a loop but I do want a loop left up at the top so I'm just gonna hold my hand here come around and we're gonna tie it the tying it's gonna be the first step and you just want to leave, like I said, a little, oh, let me get you a better view here. Hold on one second. Okay, I brought you down. So I have my circle. We've tied off the end, that's the top. And then what we're going to do is take any color you want. You can use your same, all the same beige, all the same orange, all the same green. It doesn't matter, but we are going to tie this into a knot and I just leave my needle on the end and you can thread the needle later. I know my fingers are in your way, but tie it and then however far up you want it. I want mine pretty close to the tippity top and just do a double knot. You're going to cover it, but you need it attached right like that so I just tied it and all I'm gonna do now is build up around and you can like I said you can make that as small as you want if you want it smaller you just feed it around till you get to the end here and then you want to knot it off so I'm going to take my needle, pick up a few threads, and create a knot, like a couple of them actually. And then you want to go back in here and feed it through. You just like the knots help keep it. Now, <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. What I was going to do is feed it down into here like that and then cut it off. But it's fine, it's attached, it's not going anywhere. I'm gonna trim. And now you have a tight tassel. And then you come to the bottom and you're just cutting your bottom pieces. And then you can make it even, you can make it smaller. It doesn't really matter. But that's a tassel. And you can use any kind of materials that you want. I just like that color. And if you make it thicker, obviously, then it's better because it's fuller. You can make these shorter, longer. It's really up to you. The technique is what I was showing you and not necessarily the um, how you have to do it. 
with just these materials. I'm gonna make a couple more tassels and then I will show you the finished product. All right, here it is. Oh, I love it. It is so long. So here is the orange and green tassel. And what I did is I tied a green twine up here and just tied it on so I can change it around. And then this, it's so long. I'm gonna figure out something fun to do with it when I decorate for spring, probably on my mantle. And then I made another tassel much thicker with just green and natural twine. There you go. So I hope you like it and you enjoyed this, this DIY from the Dollar Tree.